Welcome back. You're watching Ian King live from the heart of the city. Uh, it may be less than 50 miles long, but the Panama Canal, which connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is perhaps one of the most important waterways in the world. It's already estimated that it helps generate up to a third of Panama's GDP. But with a current expansion project that will double its capacity by next April, that's likely to rise even further. And trade in the region is set to be transformed by the considerable thawing in relations between the United States and Cuba. So exciting times for Panama's trade and industry minister. Meloton Arocha, who's in London looking for UK investment in his country and who joins me now. Welcome to Sky News. Now, uh, this is a huge expansion, but have we seen the best of global trade? I mean, all the big shipping companies are saying we're never going to see global trade at a level that we did prior to the crisis. Well, that remains to be seen, but the, the fact of the matter is that uh, close consultations with the maritime industry has yielded uh, that the Panama Canal expansion was needed for, in order to increase world trade. And those consul consultations also um, uh, yielded enough information in order to establish what size of vessels would be uh, the main drivers of the new set of locks of the Panama Canal. We are happy about it. The, the construction of the, Panama, the third set of locks will be, will be finishing late March, early April next year. And the break is about to become a reality. Mm, because, you, I mean, essentially you had to extend simply because container ships are now getting so large they couldn't have got through previously. Well, there is a maritime size that is called Panamax. And that's the largest vessel that's able to go through the Panama Canal. And now it's going to be uh, bigger and wider. Uh, now uh, we are expecting vessels that will be able to carry up to 14,000 uh, containers to pass through the Panama Canal and I think that it will help to enhance world trade and it will enable uh, people to buy and uh, purchase goods in a more efficient way. Panama has been putting a lot of effort, the new government, into serving as a logistic platform not only for uh, Panama, for the continent and but also for the world and we are expecting that the works that we are doing there with the Fort Colón Free Zone, with Panama Pacifico, by, that, by, by the way, is being controlled by London and Regional, which is a uh, uh, United Kingdom-based uh, company, uh, are going to be the main drivers uh, for economy. And hopefully, uh, we will continue to experience the, the growth that we are experiencing today with an economy that is growing at levels of 6 to 7 percent, with an unemployment that's a little bit over 4 percent. We are looking bright, and, and I think that most of the Panamans will, will agree that, that, that the near future looks to be very positive. Now, the Nicaraguans to the north of you are also looking to build their own Atlantic Pacific uh, connection with Chinese money. Are you concerned about that? Well, um, you know, I'm not that clear about that. Um, uh, or estimates uh, put that investment between 60 to 70 billion dollars. The expansion of the Panama Canal was six billion dollars. Uh, our, our canal is about 50 miles, uh, while the Nicaraguan canal is going to be close to 250 kilometers uh, in length. Uh, so the way in which we see this is that uh, if there is no political implication in developing the Nicaraguan canal, there is no return on investment. Uh, so we feel that the Panama Canal is going to be very competitive for years to come, and therefore investments on, on, on the Atlantic side and the, on the ports of the Atlantic sides of the U.S. and in Asia have been occurring okay. in order to facilitate chips. Briefly, of, tell, me, tell me about Cuba and the meeting that you facilitated between Raul Castro and President Obama. Well, we were very excited, you know. Um, this was history in the making and Panama serves again the purpose of, of allowing two countries that had not speak for, with each other for quite uh, a long time and, and putting uh, everything together in order to see that uh, the continent needs to, to be able to speak among, among ourselves, even to discuss the differences that we have. So uh, using the opportunity of the Summit of the Americas uh, for this uh, was a, a good thing. Okay, Meloton Arocha, thanks very much for joining us. Thank good you. to see you.